There's my guy. <laughs> Coach, how you doing? Doing well, Mr. Seven. Doing good, right? I'm doing good. <laughs> doing really good. That was fun. Yeah, look, it was, it, that was a gutsy effort. Look, um, I, I'm proud of Tay Tay Blanton. You know, we we haven't run that play. We put him in the outside ball screen. Uh, we put our shooters where we wanted them. And you're proud because Tay Tay trusted his teammates. He trusted his teammate. He he, he could have easily taken that shot. You know, he could have easily, but we knew if we set him to outside screen, we roll Coe's in, it was going to open, it was going to sink their defense and open up one of our shooters. And he made a perfect pass and he threw it to Coop after Coop had just missed one. After Coop had just missed one. Um, and that's what good teams do. You know, they believe in each other, they trust each other. Um, and, you know, I'm really proud of, uh, of the guys, you know, because things weren't going our way. And we just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And I thought I thought Kozar guys in the second half was phenomenal. Was phenomenal. You know, he changed so many shots, he blocked shots, he saved some possessions for us. So this is a great team win. You know, it's a conference win. You know, I told everybody Jacksonville State is much better than their record. You know, they're much better than their record. They got a great coach and um, you know, they got they still have a lot of players on their team that won the regular season championship last year. And you could see that tonight. You know, they played hard and they, they competed. Um, you know, and but, you know, we found a way to win that game. That was a big win for us. And you mentioned Coase and we talked to him about the second half too. He brought it up. I mean, the impact that he had down there. And DK played some good minutes as well. But that impact down there, down low, just can look like it made them really uncomfortable, especially in the second. Yeah, and, and you know, Kozar, th th this is this is how awesome this story is, okay? He's a Richmond guy. You know, he's got wonderful parents. They're wonderful. Melissa works here on campus. Harvey played here. He comes back home. He comes back home. He sets a school record most blocks in a single game. And he's like, I think, KB, two or three blocks away from having the most blocks in a single season. And he's having an all-conference type year. Like I brought him in the other day, and I was like, "Coz, you know, I'm so proud because you're having fun playing basketball." And I said, "Just so you know, like you're having an all-conference type of year. Like you're playing that well." And um, you know what a story this has been. And you talk about the trust factor. Uh, Tay Tay hit and Coop. Coop was over four at that point from three-point line on the day. It seemed like overall, just the shots weren't going down very easily for you guys tonight. So along with what you already talked about, Tay Tay, so with that, the confidence in Coop to go ahead and keep shooting. You know, we, we're we one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country. Threes per game, three-point field goal percentage. Um, we've been a very efficient three-point shooting team. But lately, we're not making shots. We're not. Like, you look at tonight, seven. You know, we're, we were getting 10, 11 a game. You know, and we're getting good looks. Um, I just got to figure it out. You know, when it's Christmas break, like Christmas break is an awesome time when they don't have class. I mean, you know, you always want them to have class, right? But, um, you know, so what happens is you can live in the gym more. You know, so you're doing individuals in the morning, you're lifting weights, and then you come back and practice. So they're getting up a ton of shots. You know, now that class is starting, we got to get back into our old rhythm, and I got to do a better job. I got to figure out how to get us shooting the ball a little bit better. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get with KB. He's going he's gonna to help me figure this out, and we're going to shoot the ball better. We're going to find a way to shoot the ball better. Defensive pressure in the second half was ramped up. Yeah. You know, that's what we do. You know, we're you know, we're gonna press you for forty minutes. That's that's our brand, that's our style. Our guys love it. They feed into it. Um and, and it's hard, you know. I mean, it's hard when you say, Okay, you're press breaker, you're gonna bring your five man up, he's gonna be your pressure release, and then their guards are gonna deny back to their guards and every play it's hard to get the ball across half court. At some point it just wears you down. You know, and King is a really good player. You know, what we wanted to do was just wear him down, you know, so, you know, because he, he can shoot it from anywhere. He's like Turner. As soon as he walks in the gym, he's in range. You know, he's one of those type of guys. I'm so glad you came. I really appreciate you coming. Uh, 
Coop was the hero. Can you talk about Tay Tay being the hero maker? So we, our belt, we call it the hero maker because the hero maker makes the play to have for the for a player to be the 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 hero and have that hero moment. Tay Tay made that play. You know, so he was the hero maker that led to that hero moment, uh, and Cooper made the shot. You know, great things happen to great people. That's Cooper Rob. I mean, he hit a shot at Georgia State, and I think, KB, that was his only basket that game, wasn't it? And he hit a shot from, like, 60 feet. So, he just, I don't know. I mean, that's why we have him out there. He's just going to hit it, you know. Makes me look like a good coach. Cooper touched on it earlier. He said you don't know whose night it's going to be. You know that that's what we're you know it's February basketball, and you want to you you want to continue to put us in position to to win a championship, right? Um, and to do that, it's got to be just about the team. It doesn't matter what it, how your night's going. It doesn't matter. And if everybody's mentality is like that, if everybody takes that on, then that's how you do something special. You know that's how you do something special. You know, and that's what I kept reminding the guys. It's just, it's all about the team. It's all about the team. It, it's not about you. It's just about the team. Just think about the team. Whatever we got to do to win the game, whoever's got to make the shot, whoever's got to get the rebound, whoever's got to block a shot, get a steal, take a charge, whatever it is, it's just about the team. And uh, they're taking on that mentality. You know, the one thing about this team, um, and I keep saying it, um, is y'all, everybody says family. We're a family, right? Well, what, what does a family have? A family has love. You know, a family makes sacrifices. And this group is really a family because they, like, really love each other. And they sacrifice for each other. Tay-Tay could have shot that shot. Y'all know that. He could have shot that shot. He could have shot a step-back shot. But he didn't. He threw it to his teammate. His teammate was open. His teammate made the shot. You know, that's what a family does. All right.